Are you a fan of the popular courtroom reality show Judge Judy? It premiered in 1996 and has entertained American audiences ever since. While we're always fascinated by the law and courtrooms, it's often the lawyers who provide us with the entertainment. Judy Scheinlin changed that forever. While she wasn't the first TV judge, her personality, razor-sharp wit, and no-nonsense attitude made the show into an American phenomenon. But how did she get started with Judge Judy? And what's in her future? Judge Judy is coming to an end, but America's favorite judge will be starring in a new show called Judy Justice. Let's look back at her fascinating life and career and see what she's got in store for us in the future. Within two years of Judge Judy's premiere, it surpassed the popularity of The Oprah Winfrey Show. In fact, for over 10 years, it held this record. Anyone who has watched an episode of Judge Judy will understand why. We're used to judges being dry and neutral in most courtrooms. Judy Scheinlin changed this through the Judge Judy Show. She's originally from New York and earned her JD from New York Law School in 1965. She passed her bar exam the same year and began her career as a corporate lawyer. But this job didn't satisfy her, and she eventually quit to become a stay-at-home mom. Looking back at her life, one may have thought this would be her destiny. She'd be unknown to the public and wouldn't have a legacy to leave. In 1972, she found work as a prosecutor in New York's family court system. It was through this job that she developed the no-nonsense attitude she became known for. By the 80s, she had developed a credible reputation among New York prosecutors. She was eventually promoted to a supervising judge in the family court system. This brought her more fame and notoriety for toughness and fast decision-making. It also led her to write her first book and land a few TV interviews. After she gained her initial fame, she realized she could take it a step further. When Judge Joseph Wapner stepped aside from his role in the courtroom reality show People's Court, Judy stepped up and offered to take the job. The producers agreed, and the show Judge Judy was born. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure you give it a like and subscribe to Facts First for more. Stick around for a lot more about Judge Judy. Once American audiences got a taste of Judy's razor-sharp wit and no-nonsense attitude, she instantly became an American treasure. But how exactly does the show work? Essentially, the producers scout out cases in small claims courts. They approach the defendants and plaintiffs in these cases and give them an offer to display their altercations on national TV. Judy herself doesn't get to decide on the cases or the defendants and plaintiffs that stand before her. Now, you may wonder why the defendants and plaintiffs would want their personal matters to be broadcast to millions of viewers across the country. The producers of the show pay whatever fines Judy assigns to the loser of the court case. As such, even if someone loses the case, they don't have to worry about losing their shirt. But it's also another way to make money in court without having to serve on a jury. Every defendant, plaintiff, and witness who appears on Judge Judy is entitled to a paycheck from the show's producers. While this remuneration won't be a king's ransom, it's still a great way to make some fast cash. In fact, the publicity and money from Judge Judy can be so enticing there have been a few fake cases. We now know that much of reality TV is indeed staged. However, on Judge Judy, the staging was done by the alleged plaintiffs and defendants. One of the most famous fake cases involved Jonathan Coward along with his friends Kate and Brian. The quote-unquote case involved a dead cat and two broken TV sets. But the producers believed there was some validity to the case and invited Jonathan and his pals to come on the show. Jonathan later bravely stated he had no regrets for appearing on the show. On the show, Judge Judy works as a mediator rather than a judge. The set is in the style of an actual courtroom, but Judy focuses on helping the plaintiffs and defendants resolve their disputes outside of the courtroom. It may be a courtroom show, but Judy is actually helping people settle their disputes without going to court. Nevertheless, her powers of persuasion don't go unnoticed. Her show has undoubtedly helped countless people resolve their issues and make some money on the side. But Judy isn't the only reason why the Judge Judy show became a huge hit. Much of the credit has to go to Judy's sidekick and bailiff, Petrie Hawkins Bird. The banter between the judge and the bailiff are some of the most memorable parts of any Judge Judy show. Their relationship goes way back to much before the show. They worked together in the Manhattan family court and began their friendship during this time. They even shared a similar dark sense of humor. There was one incident where Bird donned the judge's robes and began doing an impersonation of Judy. Judy saw this impression and thought it was hilarious. Needless to say, they were made to be a great double act for TV. 
In fact, Judy helped Bird get his life back together. Bird was living in California as a high school counselor. He was earning $30,000 a year and had to deliver pizzas on the side. He had left behind his career as a New York family court bailiff. However, one day, he saw an article in a magazine about a new courtroom reality show. He saw his former colleague Judy Scheinland was going to appear as a judge. Bird thought this was wonderful and sent a letter of congratulations to her. In the letter, he joked, If you ever need a bailiff, I still look good in a uniform. But this joke ended up changing Bird's life. The new show was, in fact, looking for a bailiff. Bird was hired, and he reunited with Judy and became a star as she did. It's believed he now has a net worth of at least $3.5 million. While there isn't a clear number of Judy's net worth, we know she had a contract which brought her $47 million a year. Without a doubt, she's one of the highest paid women in the history of American TV. She owns five homes, a private jet, and once owned a yacht. As the show continues to run, she becomes even more of an American treasure. She's been praised and parodied and has become almost idyllic in what many Americans want to see in a judge. She holds a Guinness World Record for being the longest-running TV judge in American TV history. The show has over 4,000 episodes, and she's handled over 9,000 cases. While Judy may be more of a mediator on the show, she hasn't forgotten her roots as a court prosecutor. She helped take down a phony school that was run by unaccredited staff who claimed to have expertise in helping special needs children. They didn't, and the entire school was a scam. Judy helped expose them, which eventually led to their closure. No doubt many aspiring lawyers and judges have been inspired by Judy's confrontational style and have pursued careers in the law because of her. So what's next for Judy? Well, it looks like Judge Judy will come to an end soon, but fans of Judy can expect her to continue her work in the show Judy Justice. There's still not enough information on this mysterious new show. However, it seems it'll be very similar to Judge Judy. Whatever it is, we're sure fans of Judy won't be disappointed. Now, in her late 70s, she still continues to entertain fans both old and new. Are you a fan of Judge Judy? Do you think Judy Justice will surpass the legacy of Judge Judy? Or will Judy have challenges reaching new audiences, particularly the younger generation? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. And before you go, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.